<laughs> What's going on guys? How you doing? TK coming at you and you know what? I have a hardship. Everything in life is a hardship because we all get forged through fire. But the fire is sometimes more intense and more hard to bear when it's somebody close to you who doesn't support you. So my constant thing is always spend money on things that make money. You know, the average person rather spend money on a pair of shoes that has zero value and adds absolutely nothing positive to your future. You know, you spend, what is it, uh, some unjustified amount of money on some Jordans that cost pay probably $5 in some sweatshop manned by children in China, and you pay some stupid price for a pair of shoes that really isn't going to be worth anything because my used shoes I tend to throw in the trash I don't even feel comfortable giving used shoes to somebody else something that's been on somebody else's feet I prefer to put in the trash but there are some people that are willing to take used shoes so I usually put them next to the trash instead of putting them in the trash but that's what the value of a pair of Jordans are I mean so my point is, I'm constantly, contrary to everybody else, I'm constantly focused on spending money on things that put money back into my house. I will spend money on business first and not go shopping or not buy something that I feel like I want. I will put it off and say, you know what? Me spending 900 and uh, ninety dollars on this business license makes more financial sense, and it will enhance my future. Cause I know that once I get this license and the company opens, I have a chance to make money for the future. So it's complicated when. You the only one that thinks that way. It's a lonely island to be an entrepreneur. And I'm venting a little bit, but I'm also trying to convey a point to everybody else out there, the two people that watch my videos, that you also are in a position in life where your decisions create your reality of the uh, future. So me making the decision to say, I'm going to spend uh, this money. I'm going to spend $990 on this freaking license so that I can become a licensed partner within a cryptocurrency wholesale business. That puts me in a position where once the company opens in August, that my future looks better because now... I have a license within a real business. But when you have somebody close to you, whether they'll be family or whether that's your significant other, doesn't matter, whoever they are, when they don't support you, and they're the ones that rather spend $990 on a pair of shoes, it really causes tension in your life. It really causes problems in your relationship with that person but it doesn't matter you have to stay true to business knowing that that decision is more important than wasting money on shopping so that's what I mean with my earlier statement saying that being an entrepreneur is a very lonely island because you have to find internal motivation internal uh, pep talk you have to find internal drive. You have to uh, be motivated from within, not from without. Because the external world is going to beat you like Mike Tyson. And if you don't have enough intestinal fortitude, enough internal drive to withstand the Mike Tyson punches, your years or your days as an entrepreneur are are basically over you know they're going to be short lived 
So this video is just to reach out to the few people that I do reach out to and explain that you have to drive yourself. That the trials of life is gonna constantly say everything you're doing is stupid. And why would you be the only one that spend money on business when most people spend money on shoes? So you have to ignore that and be smart enough to say, you know what, F what you're saying, I'm gonna pay for this business license and I'm gonna focus on future, not on shopping right now. And if you can do that, then one day you're gonna look up and those shopping people are gonna be in the same place they were a year ago and you're gonna be further along in life. You know, because the, the entrepreneur role may be lonely, but one day perseverance pays off. One day you're gonna look up and you'll be the only one successful when all those other people are still shopping with no progress in their life. So I wanna encourage you guys out here in Facebook and uh, YouTube world to stay the course as an entrepreneur and don't let the Mike Tyson punches of the world stray you from your goals and your dreams. You have to dream big, excel high, and use internal drive to get you from point A to point B. Now I know that's a mouthful because 90% of the people I know don't have any internal drive. I just happen to be wired different and my mentality is not like everybody else's. So I don't need somebody to pat me on the back and I don't need someone to say, yay. I do it internally because I know that my decisions, although they may seem different, will produce results one day. And I'll be the only one still on that entrepreneur island when everyone else is struggling. So I wanted to reach out to do an encouragement video based on what I'm going through right now. And I wanna reach out to some of the people who are like me. If you are a person who can drive himself, then you can make it. Because the Bill Gates of the world probably had a lot of Mike Tyson punches a lot of people telling them not to do what they're doing. But it's the perseverance and the internal fortitude of the person that wins in the end. And one thing I can say for sure is that if you persevere, eventually the season changes. So if it's raining and you're getting hit in the head with hell and you persevere, eventually the rain's gonna stop.